Hello there, my friend. You're listening to the Sort Yourself Out podcast. This week, we're discussing my number one secret to boost your happiness level. Woohoo! Stay tuned. I'm your host, Janine Hunt, natural health therapist for over 30 years, hypnotherapist, lifelong student, and spiritual seeker. I like to seek out the most effective practices and techniques that provide the greatest bang for my buck and the fastest route to freedom from whatever is holding us back. I can't wait to share with you these powerful techniques so that you too can sort yourself out, know deeper meaning in your life, and best of all, a sense of inner peace. So let's get started. Well, hello there, and thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of your life with me today. I'm going to do my best to make sure you won't regret it, because today we are narrowing our focus to my one essential recommendation that, if you do it, has the power to boost your happiness to unprecedented levels and that can have a powerful knock-on effect to uplift your life on all levels, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. So I can practically hear you saying, come on, Janine, spill the beans. So here goes. My number one recommendation to boost your happiness is to begin a daily meditation practice. Mm -hmm. So where do you stand on this idea? Have you heard or read those glowing reports about the nigh on miraculous benefits of meditation and thought, oh yeah, I should probably be doing that? And then followed it with a Yes, but I just don't have the time. Or manana, I'll get around to it tomorrow. Or maybe you're an atheist or agnostic and think that meditation is mystical mumbo jumbo for spiritual or religious people, and that practical people grounded in the real world have no business entertaining such new age BS. Or maybe you're on the fence, or you've tried meditation in the past, but just haven't been able to make it a practice that sticks. Well, whatever your stance, in this episode, I'm going to blow up those objections and give you practical reasons why you should make a little bit of time in your day for meditation if you really want to boost your happiness. And in a few minutes, I'm going to lead you through a quick meditation so you can see how easy it is to get going and take that first step to boosting your happiness and uplifting your overall well-being. Now, if you're one of those people who has resisted meditation because you're not spiritually inclined and therefore thought it wasn't for you, well, I have great news. You don't need to be interested in spirituality in order to meditate. Because meditation has hit the mainstream. You don't have to be a monk or a yogi in a loincloth with your legs all contorted into lotus position. Increasingly, meditation is being adopted by business people who want to reduce their stress levels. So many people suffer from stress, perhaps related to work or maybe related to life in general. Modern medicine and the scientific world are finally acknowledging the mind-body connection and the part that unmanaged stress plays in creating physical illness, not to mention emotional and mental ill health. Meditation and mindfulness teacher David Mickey said that if meditation were available in capsule form, it would be the biggest selling drug of all time. Wow. We all like the promise of the silver bullet, right? And the meditation I'm going to teach you today is the next best thing. It makes sense that if there's a simple, quick, and easy thing you can do to alleviate stress on mental, emotional, and physical levels, that it's a bit of a no-brainer, right? And before you get all head up and say, but Janine, I just don't have the time. Well, sorry, but I'm pulling the rug out from underneath that excuse as well, because we are going to meditate for one minute. Now you may think, what good could one measly minute possibly have in my life? Well, listen to this. In the book, Peak Performance, the authors tell the story of Brandon Reynolds, who worked for a large management consulting firm. 
He was really stressed out at work, having trouble focusing, and his mind was always racing. And when he wasn't at work, his mind was still at work. Then he came across some articles about mindfulness meditation and saw that it could be a solution to his many problems. So he committed to practicing meditation regularly, starting with a one-minute session every day. One minute. And after a few weeks, he noticed profound changes in himself. He became aware of himself and of his emotions. He began to notice how the emotions triggered certain actions. He was able to quiet his mind. He slept better. He listened better. And as he ramped up the duration and frequency of his meditation sessions, he began to feel more in control of himself and no longer at the behest of the world. It was as if every element of my life improved, he said. And guess what? He's now a meditation and mindfulness teacher. And I can attest to these life-enhancing improvements too, thanks to a daily meditation practice. Really, I feel like meditation saved my life. Because years ago, I was a mess. I had recently quit drinking. And foolishly, I had thought that quitting drinking was the answer to all my problems. But you know what? Stopping drinking was only the starting point to sorting myself out because my boozing habit had been obscuring all sorts of nasty stuff that was going on in my mind. And when I stopped drinking, there it was in all its crappy glory. I was full of shame and self-hatred and utterly lacking in self-esteem. I was 38 years old and wondering if I had wasted my life. I felt so raw and undone. And I just had this immense desire for solace and soothing. I just wanted to fast forward my life to a future time where I felt positive and joyful about life, free of the shame and feeling good in myself. My predominant thought was, there's got to be more to life than this. I had this need to find more meaning in my life. And it was only when I discovered meditation, or to be more accurate, that I began to meditate every day, that my healing began in earnest. That I began to experience more joy and to feel good in my own skin, to feel inner peace. So, I don't want you to do what I did originally, which is to faff around for ages dabbling in meditation before I took it seriously. I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. Frequency of meditation is way more important than the duration of your session. In fact, beginning meditators should start small with just a short period of time, but Commit to meditating every day. I don't know what it is, but so many people find it hard to commit to daily meditation. I think it's because meditation is a discipline. But I'm going to make it so easy for you that there is literally no excuse you can make to not give it a try for a few weeks. I want you to put meditation to the test in your own life and start with just a minute or two of meditation every single day. It may not sound like a minute or two could have much impact, but listen to this quotation from the book Peak Performance. Brain studies are beginning to show the immense and measurable benefits of mindfulness meditation. Researchers are finding that, starting at just a few minutes every day, mindfulness meditation increases gray matter in the part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is one of the most evolved parts of our brains. Its complexity separates us from more primitive animals. In addition to performing higher-order thinking, the prefrontal cortex serves as the brain's command and control center. 
It allows us to respond thoughtfully to situations instead of instinctively reacting. Having a well-developed prefrontal cortex is especially important when it comes to transitioning out of stress and into rest. By strengthening our prefrontal cortex, mindfulness allows us to recognize that we are having a stress response rather than automatically being overcome by it. Unquote. And this is where the powerful knock-on effect in meditation comes in. Imagine all those benefits, the positive effects in your relationships when you are able to observe your thoughts and emotions and to consciously choose your response rather than being at the mercy of your subconscious knee-jerk reactions when you're triggered by something. This is huge. Like seriously, this has an enormous positive effect in your relationships. In peak performance, they talked about another study where they did brain scans of expert meditators and novice meditators following burning them on the leg with a scalding hot wire. Scientists, eh? Sadists! Anyhow, initially, both groups had the same response. Ouch, that hurts. The novices experienced what neuroscientists call an amygdala hijack, or an emotional takeover of the brain. They could not turn off their stress response. Even after the wire was removed, they remained in an emotional and stressed out state. The expert meditators had an entirely different response, both inside and out. After the initial burn, they were able to turn off their stress response, dissociating the burning sensation from an extended emotional response. They felt the pain, ouch, and then chose not to react further. This is the power of meditation and the capacity it develops in us that I call the minor miracle that allows us to become the observers of our thoughts and emotions, to raise our awareness of the kind of thoughts that are habitually churning around in our heads, fueling our subconscious reactions, and to consequently choose, to, con to consciously choose a higher response. This, my friend, is power. This is life-changing. Okay, we are going to get into a quick demo now of how to meditate. So only do this if you're in a position and situation where you can relax and not be doing anything else. This is not a multitasking activity. So just follow along with me for one minute. We are going to be counting our exhalations. As you exhale, mentally count one. Continue breathing normally. Next exhale, count two. And carry on like this until you get to seven. And then with the next exhale, begin again at one. Okay? So, let's start now. Sit comfortably with your back straight. Close your eyes and breathe in. As you exhale, mentally count one. Next exhalation, count two. Carry on like this until you get to seven. And then begin again at one. Keep breathing normally and counting, and I'll let you know when a minute is up.
Okay, how was that? Do you feel calmer, more peaceful, more relaxed? It's really as simple as that. It's so easy. Now, you may have found yourself going beyond seven and maybe even hit 10. Don't worry if that happens. Just have a chuckle, refocus, and begin again at one. That's why I threw that in there, as when we meditate, we want to become more mindful and focused. We don't want to just zone out and be counting automatically. Believe me, you'll find yourself going higher than seven, but it's no biggie. So that was one minute. You can start with just one minute a day and still feel the benefits. The important thing is to meditate daily. So let's just ramp up your incentive to meditate by discussing some of the benefits. Like feeling calmer and more relaxed. An increased ability to manage stress and to act calmly and wisely in stressful circumstances. Improved concentration and focus. Improved relationships. Improved immune function and general health. Looking younger. Yes, you heard that right. Feeling more contented, being in control of your emotions, the cultivation of compassion, both for yourself and others, feeling less needy and self-absorbed, and therefore more available to help others, the ability to monitor your thinking and to consciously choose your thoughts and actions. This factor alone has immense knock-on effects that will permeate all areas of your life. And there are many, many more benefits. So what are you waiting for? Why don't you just get started and find out the benefits for yourself? Now, I want you to get started meditating, so I created a free guide you can download called the Quick Start Guide to Doable Meditation. I provide a really simple, no-fuss instruction on how to meditate, just like we did here today. And it's doable not just because it's simple, but because it only takes five minutes. And if that's too much, just start with one minute and add 30 seconds after a week and work your way up like that. It also includes tips to make sure that you can fit that meditation into your day and also to move past any resistance you might feel about starting a daily meditation practice. So do give it a go. Download it today and get meditating. I'll put a link in the show notes and you can get it at theinspirationcloud.com slash S-Y-O-22. That's theinspirationcloud.com slash S-Y-O-22. Now, if you're interested in learning more deeply about all of the uplifting and life-enhancing topics we discuss in this podcast, I have some exciting news to share on how you can amplify your own well-being as well as your positive impact in the world. In a couple of months, I will be opening the door to my new membership experience called The Inner Circle. In this monthly membership, I'll be offering my most powerful, top-down techniques to sort yourself out, to free yourself of your hang-ups and blockages, to take charge of your mind, and to nourish your soul. You'll have all the tools, practices, and techniques you need to not just heal your life, but to make it more meaningful, fulfilling, peaceful, and beautiful. If you're ready to transform your well-being and would like to be kept informed, go on over to theinspirationcloud.com slash membership to get on the wait list and I will keep you updated. And I'll put a link to that in the show notes. It's the inspirationcloud.com slash membership. Okay, my friend, that's all from me today. My number one tip to boost your happiness, get meditating every single day. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll be back next week. Bye-bye. 
Thanks so much for listening to the podcast. I really hope you found it helpful and full of uplifting ideas that you can put into practice in your life. And if you have, chances are your friends and family will too. So please share it with them on social media. You'll be helping them to sort themselves out because I bet you think they need it, right? But seriously, you'll also be doing me a huge favor and I will be eternally grateful for your generosity. It would also be lovely if you would leave me a review on iTunes, preferably a nice one, please. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast while you're there. If you have any questions or would like me to address a certain topic, I'd love to hear from you. You can email me at info at the inspiration Have a good one, folks. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.